Welcome ladies and gentlemen, skipping the intro and getting right into it because I am far too excited for this. I have just gone out and gotten Legends of Arceus as it came out today. I ha- I'm sorry I'm tripping over myself because I'm always doing that. But anyways, um, I went out to Walmart and I snagged the last copy they had and I am really excited to play, so let's just- Skip all the me stuttering over myself, even though I've already done that, and just start the game. <laughs> I want to apologize for the lack of game audio, though, because my capture card just isn't having it. Ooh. This is... interesting. Whoa. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Interesting. This is really cool. Seriously, like, having a Pokemon game set in the past, the implications for world building and lore, I am so excited for it. But this is cool, like, instead of having the professor, we have this bright light and ominous background sounds. This is, it is well that thou art here. Ooh, fancy talk! Is this Arceus? Yep! Hey, look at me! <laughs> right on the money. I am that which humans call Arceus, or Arceus, whichever pronunciation you prefer. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Okay. I'm just gonna try to go in for this one. What is thy name? And, of course, um... A lot of times whenever I play games, I like to make up a character name instead of choosing my own. But, because of the... Well, it's not really much of a coincidence, I guess. Because of the fact that the default character is named Dawn and I am named Dawn, I'm just gonna... Actually, would going for just Dawn be stupid? Oh no. See, this is the main hang-up I have whenever I play any game. It's naming myself, or literally anything. <sighs> this is... The bane of my existence. What do you think, Jello? She's not even looking at me. Alright then, thank you for your excellent input, as always, my dear. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and go for Dawn. Be boring, I guess. How have I done that? I put the N the W before the N. My dyslexia kicking in, either that or I'm just not paying attention. I could go for the full Dawn Hearts, but... Eh. I normally just do Dawn anyway, so let's do that. <sighs> All is correct, and as it should be. That's awesome that they're keeping up the speech pattern for this. Yeah. Dawn. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. This is really, really thematic. I'm loving it. Dawn. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Cool, cool. I'm so excited! This is basically my dream game, with like the battle mechanics and everything. Oh, hello. T-shirt? Whoa! This is interesting. Floating in space. Oh, cell phone! My phone! No! This is really cool. There's actually sort of a plot here. That's really neat. This is like beyond the normal basic Pokemon stuff. Hi! This is really cool. 
So I guess we're going back in time or something? Logo, yeah! Look at all the clouds! This is so cool! <laughs> oh, and that loading symbol, that's so pretty! All of this is just so amazing, I'm kind of losing my mind. Wake up! Yeah, that was abrupt. Do wake up, won't you? Oh, hello. Are you alive, my girl? Uh, yeah. I'm breathing, aren't I? Hello. Like, I find the starters they chose to be kind of random. And I really wish they had picked a better fire starter. I don't have anything against Cinequil, but there are other ones that I would have preferred. Which, honestly, for me, that's not saying a ton because Finnegan is my favorite Pokemon ever, so I obviously would have preferred it. You gave me quite the shock, falling from the sky like that. Oh, that's neat. This is interesting. They're kind of put- they're putting a bit of the Mystery Dungeon formula into a regular Pokemon game. Like, waking up in a different time and place that you would normally be in and having no idea how you got there and yada yada yada. Except for this time, we haven't been turned into a Pokemon. You gave me quite the shock, falling from the sky like that. Oh, did I already read that dialogue? Oh well, I'm too excited. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Uh... Okay, so I'm going to go for... where am I? Why, this is Prelude Beach, of course. That's an interesting name. Dear me, did the shock of the... did the shock of your fall somehow addle your memory? It's more like I've been teleported through space and time. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't have to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I... I don't know. I see. You seem a bit uh, You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. What, what is with your hat, sir? That is a strange hat. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you can stay? Uh... Let's go with no. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night? Look at our face! We have an actual expression! We look legitimately distressed! That's some good upgrades as far as Pokemon goes. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I... Somehow, I guess... dramatic breeze. What's that in the background? Like, are you not concerned about that random storm? I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Especially a child. I mean, come on, how old are we? Aw. <laughs> oh my, I completely forgotten. I just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Don. That name was that name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Lavington. I think that's how you'd say that. Lavington? I'm something of a Pokemon professor. Yep. Like, considering he's a professor, it has to be a plant, right? It sounds kind of like lavender, which was my first thought. thought which makes sense considering the color of his shirt there and his hat. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three- Oh, they ran off! Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon, why must they run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you can help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! 
All right then. So we. That's interesting. And I guess. What's this marker here? Ooh, it's our phone. There's a glowing beeping object over there. It's our phone. Investigate it. You found something that resembles a phone. This is... It's probably your phone, but it's shamed in shape and you feel strange power emanating from it. Ooh, a message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this art phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Alright then. Okay, so we can do this. This is amazing. Just look at all of this. The terrain and the grass and everything. I was really excited when they announced this game because, like, having the Breath of the Wild level open map or whatever, and the new battle system and everything. Look at these flowers! They're so pretty! I love these. This is amazing. I am just losing my mind over this. Oh, there's Lavington. Excuse me, sir. I've caught up to you. Oh. Alas, yet another miss. Ah, I'm glad you come to my rescue. My new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to... I'd love to give you a go- oh. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Yep. I guess this is, this is where we're choosing our starter. I always go for the fire type, because it's one of my favorite types. And I always tend to like the fire types better. That one over there is Cyntaquil. The fire burning on Cyntaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. The texture on the model's is a little odd, but it's partial. It's mostly because of the shadowing, the way the edges are. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating in the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Oh, well, black and white is the only game where I never picked the fire type. I just like Snivy. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing about how to, about how to go about catching Pokemon. There you are, my girl. Pokeballs. Throw these at a Pokemon to catch them. Fifty? Wow, that's a lot. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Cool. I'm also really excited about the crafting system. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are, are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. Comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'll I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon and then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it from though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. I feel you, my dude. Alright, so hold down the ZR button to ready a ball and take aim so you can keep moving around as you do so. Use the right stick to adjust the angle of your aim carefully at your target Pokemon. Release the ZR Pokemon to throw the Pokeball if it hits a Pokemon you may be able to catch it. Okay, so I have to catch all three Pokemon for him. Alright, so Cyntopole is over here, so... Oh, 
Shoot. Shoot. I'm accidentally letting go. Okay. Ah, come on, he moved! Stop moving. For goodness sakes. I'm a terrible aim, so... Yeah, I got him! Come on. Stay in there. Yes, I got him! Oh, wonderful! You've caught a Pokemon! It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Dawn. Jo jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two more of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Why would I be? I guess I'm from the future, so I'm from a time when Pokemon are used to people and I have no reason to be afraid of them. Okay, there's Rowlet. Okay, how do I walk slower? Gotcha. Yeah, that's right. What oh, did he get out? Oh, no, there he goes. I can hardly believe it, Don. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap up this squash. I don't know. That's a weird word. You know, if this scenario were a, a real life one, which of course it isn't, we would be incredibly lucky that the people in this era speak the same language as us. Or maybe Arceus gave us a special psychic translator. This is a bit more difficult than it looks. Yes! First time this time around! Gotcha! Aw, oh, come on! Aw. Ah yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old girl. Alright. Come on. Oh, he sees me. Come on! He keeps moving too much. What was that? Alright. Yes! Stay in there! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Yay! I got him. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as they, if they knew you'd come following. But I must say, Dawn, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so aptly when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think that there's a reason you appeared here and now. Well, there's this. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to complete this region's first complete record of, all of its Pokemon. We in the field called We in the field call such a catalog of Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have just only been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all of those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Heck yeah! Come on now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? You've convinced me. Let's do this. Then whoever and... Then whoever and where from... Um, Jeez, I keep tripping over myself. Then whoever and wherever, then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've a Pokedex to complete. Yay! 
This is really cool. Much more padded out story than normal. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Yay! Follow me then. Onward to Jubilife Village. And I really liked that too because like, we have Jubilife Village here and in future Sinnoh we have Jubilife City. Dramatically looking at the sky. Oh yeah, that. That's... That's gotta be some kind of problem, doesn't it? Like, since this is the future, the past version of the Sinnoh region, which of course is Diamond and Pearl, we can expect something is going on with maybe Dioxys, uh, not Dioxys, Dialga and Palkia, and of course Arceus. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll give, you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. Nice sideburns, bro. Nice. This way, if you please. Jubilife Village. It's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition team. This is so cool. I'm controlling her walking while he's talking. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do and yet not much time. And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside. Now the impressive building up ahead of us is Galaxy Hall, headquarters of the entire outfit. What is that word? Oh, Fatherington, I almost forgot. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask for you to wait for me at the canteen? I just... It's just past the bridge there, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Okay. Oh. The arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. Oh, okay. You can just use the minus button to look at the map. Guidance markers. Cool, cool, cool. This t-shirt we're wearing is interesting. It's got a Hawaiian theme going on. Maybe we're from Alola or something. Maybe we were visiting there or we've been there in the past. Whoa, did you see that little design on the decorative little green things here? There was a little design on one of them. Ooh, we can investigate. Hold on. Shoot, I'm getting camera angle. Canola Bridge. Interesting. Okay, so... Alrighty. Hello there. Hmm. He doesn't look happy. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Mm, well, the wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. All right then. I guess I'll just wait outside. Oh hi there. It's our counterpart. Who in the world are you? And what's with that bizarre garb you're wearing? A Pokemon sh could slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes. Hmm. For you to get in here, someone must have vouched for you. Wait, it was Professor Lavington? Do the two of you know each other? He's from a region a long way off. Not most reliable sort. Though, letting all letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. Three more of them got away just a while ago. If I hadn't been resting up after some Pokemon drubbed me with a move called Thundershock, I'd have corralled him for sure. Oh, dude, you get electrocuted? That's rough, buddy. But the professor, well... Unfortunately, it's as Ray says. I'm clumsy. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Oh, good. Ack! <laughs> Ray! 
Hey, that's a nice name. But everything will be quite all right now. Dawn here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. <laughs> As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps? Er, Corps. I'm not saying that right, am I? What makes you think that's a good idea? We can't just take in any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. I'll allow it. Ooh, who's this? Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. Survey Corps, come on. I see the P and my brain is like, you gotta say it, it's there. I'm the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. I think that's how you would say that. She doesn't have any eyebrows. Professor Lavington had told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped out of his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be about 15 or so. Okay, so that's how old we are. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders among us without any idea of their skill or origin. origin. Tomorrow we'll just see if you can prove yourself worthy. Alright then. Oh ho, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I'd prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Dang. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please. Oh wait, no, that's mochi, isn't it? <sighs> Jeez. Japanese words. They confound me at times. But make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. Where did you find the stranger in the first place, Professor? Ah, well, you know that the great you know of the great hole in the sky? The one the people call the space time rift? Our new found our new friend fell right out of it. Ah, that's interesting. Was that a joke? <laughs> Come on now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now you already know that there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Sure, they're all over the place, in the grass, in the forest, and in the ocean. It's up to the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they may possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. He looks like he's looking at his nose. You're a little cross-eyed there, sir. But that's where Dawn will come in. She successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quite three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means that we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. That's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single wild Pokemon while fending off their attacks. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled on the beach weren't on the attack. But the key of Catching a Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well, and it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really has, have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Chill out, dude. Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on the, that Pokedex of yours is clearly has her on edge. Oh dear. I'm sure we'll start to rain in the good captain's dress seating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Don. And think, if you make it into the galaxy team, we'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fall out of the sky. <laughs> well, that's comforting to know. That was quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. 
you're awfully relaxed about the, all this. You do know that we don't... You do know that we won't get to have Dawn join the Survey Corps unless she passes the trial. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Dawn's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Dawn, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters here. You're there. <laughs> But if you fail to pass the, if, but if you fail to pass the trial, we put you, to, we put you to tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Thanks. I'm like 15. Captain C Celine's like he's sweet in a way, They're both plenty harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. Imagine, I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. Keep making jokes about that. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Layers. Yeah, sleep tight. Still, people falling for the sky? That's some kind of story. You have no idea, my dude. <laughs> okay. And I guess we have a bag here. Alright. So this is our... This is all we got. Alright. Then. Oh, our shoes disappeared. That's a neat little thing. <laughs> That's cool. Shoes just pop right off. What's this? The jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top of it to keep debris from falling in. Cool, cool. And a nice fire in this sun curtain hearth to keep the entire room heated. It's a dress for a very solid construction, where extra sets of clothing can be kept. Hold on, what's this? Survey tips. Okay. Press the up button to open the menu and go to the help screen. Alright. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Yeah, that wording there. <laughs> yes. Alrighty then. And that's the end of the first episode. I generally record gameplay video in a really long session and then cut said sessions into shorter episodes. In any case, I was gone for a while and I'm back now. Yay. I'm going to be getting back into YouTube stuff and all of that jazz. 